welcome back to the, the words words are magical things welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to do a classic red lip when i was trying to decide how i wanted to do this look i was trying to avoid something that you would typically see with red lips which is either um like a super natural looking face or like a super sharp wing and i wanted to do something different so I decided to do something that was a little bit warmer, um, a little more on the subtle side, but will still go with a classic red lip. And I'm sure I make tons of funny faces in this video just because I am doing um, still sort of a wing, but not like a classic wing. Anywho, I hope you enjoy watching and please subscribe. All right, so my brows are already done. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Ebony, and I'm gonna prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then I'm going to use some scotch tape to kind of mark off my area for where my eyeshadow was gonna go. I always use a pinky size length and put it on the back of my hand first, so it's not too sticky when I actually put it on my face because I don't wanna cause any damage while using the scotch tape. So I always use the arch of my eyebrow to kind of line it up and create an even wing. Then I'm going to prime my eyes. You can use any concealer, but I went ahead and used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand, which I'll also be using later. So I'll just go ahead and put a dot of that on, and then I'll go ahead and kind of use my finger and blot it out. That way we have even coverage all over the eye. That way we don't have any creasing later on when we do put on eyeshadow. And then I just... I always make sure to bring it up to the brow so it's even. And then I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder, which you couldn't quite see. I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to use the Morphe G8 brush to go ahead and put that on. And then I'll go in with the Morphe um, 350 palette in the light orange color that I couldn't quite show you guys. And I'm really sorry about with the Royal and Langnickel brush. I'm going to go ahead and just hit my crease with that and blend it out to the best of my abilities. You will find a better way to do this, I promise, or your own way, but I just use windshield wiper motions and transferring in between each eye. And then I'll go in with a darker color and I'll put that right underneath the color I just used to create a little bit more dimension. Um, and I'll go ahead and use the same technique and I just want to make sure that everything is nice and blended together. That way when we go to build on more color, it's not so blocky. Then I'm going to go in with an even darker shade in that palette and I'm going to continue using the same brush but I'm going to focus that color more on the outside of the corner of my eyes and I know it doesn't look like much now and you may seem weird to be using this many eyeshadows but I promise that it will help create better dimension and better blendability as you go on. So I try to just disperse the colors evenly as I go to the best of my abilities and um, See where it needs to go as I add more color on and then I'm going to go ahead and use um, a darker kind of reddish brown color and I'm going to switch to the Morphe M139 brush and I'm going to go ahead and again concentrate that color towards the edge of or the outer corner of my eyes um, and blend accordingly which you can see as I'm going further in but it's after I've um, packed on most of the product that way there isn't any blocks of color which um, isn't cute for anybody and again blend 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 literally blend until you feel like you're gonna bleed but not really just blend a lot all right and I'm gonna move on to an even darker red brown color and I'm gonna be using the Morphe M332 brush to pack that on this brush has um, thicker amount of bristles that way you can really pack the color on there and get it into a more concentrated area but I'm still going to blend towards the inner corner of the eye and towards the middle of the eye that way when we go to put on another color everything will be nice and blended out and all the colors we put on won't look like their own sections of the world they'll just beautifully transition right into the other one and I as I will go back and I will use the other brushes that I was using with the previous colors just to blend out the edges and then I will go back and pack more color on as I see fit then I'll be going in with color pops um, 
Super Shock Shadow in Game Face. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked 3 brush that came with the palette to go ahead and pack that on. I do just kind of do my best to pack it on accordingly between each eye and kind of spread it to where the darker brown meets the eye. And then I will go back and I will add more of the game face towards the middle of the eye. That's that way I do get um, the color more concentrated. That way you have more um, of a round look to the eye instead of quite so almond. It'll give it a nice pop there in the middle, which always does look nice. And then I do go back and forth between brushes just to make sure everything is blended and just note that I do not add any additional product to the brushes. I solely just use the residue. And again, I just go back and forth and pack on more color as I see fit that way to get the look the way I want it to. You guys can do it however you like. And then I'm going to go in again with the Royal and Langnickel brush. Um, with the smudge side this time with a very dark brown and just run it right along my lash line and along the tape line to define more of a wing and then I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. Then I'm going <clears> to <throat> go ahead and curl my lashes right quick and then I will be using the Mali Volumizing Mascara in black to coat my lashes, lashes, lashes with the mascara and then I will be moving on to the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes in Blackest Black. I like to use the two just because it gives it a more of a separated look. Then I'm going to be moving on to the L'Oreal True Mash W7 with them um, and then I'll be blending it out with the Morphe M439 brush. I just buff it out with the combination of pushing it into the skin and using it in sweeping motions. I find that this gets the best and most even coverage possible. Um, I also make sure to get it up into my hairline to create more of a seamless look and also make sure to bring it down onto your neck so you don't have any fine lines. And I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. I'll be using it under my eyes, top of my nose, center of my forehead, above my lip, and the center of my nose. And then I'll be blending it out with a PD blender. Make sure it is damp. That way you do get the most seamless coverage and it will soak up any extra product that isn't really necessary. That way your face doesn't look. In the Smashbox contour sticks and the color contour I'll use to contour my face underneath my cheekbones and then around my forehead and then I'll be going in with bronze. And then I'll be using a Real Techniques contour brush to blend everything out. I start closest to my lips that way the contour doesn't get really chunky and the concentrated color is more towards your earlobes. I'll blend out everything including around my forehead and then use the excess to contour my nose. I'll then be moving on to the Jouer Cream Highlighter and Tiara with a Beauty Blender on to highlight the highest point of my cheekbones, uh, the bridge of my nose, center of my forehead, above my lip, and in the center of my chin. Then I'll be using the Ulta Minerals Finishing Powder with the Beauty Blender and I will be setting the underneath of my eyes. The, the Beauty Blender is still damp and it will give you a very flawless looking under eye when you are done. It is my favorite way to set my under eye right now. Then I'll be using the rest of that powder and I'll just be using a Real Techniques powder brush to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna try to avoid where I did highlight but I do hit my nose and my chin because those are oily spots on my face. Then I'll be going and deepening the contour with Benefits Hula and then I will be using, um, go, or actually going back to um, Game Face and using the Urban Decay Naked Brush to go ahead and highlight the inner corners of my eyes. And then I will be going back and using that medium brown color with the Smashbox Pencil Brush to hit the outer corners of my eyes. And then in again with the darkest brown that we used earlier and the Smudge Brush to hit that outer lash line and sort of blend it in, in with the upper wing that we did create earlier and then I'll go back to the Maybelline Grey Lashes Mascara and just quickly coat my lower lashes. From this point on, I'll then be using the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette and use Prosecco Pop to highlight the highest points of my face that we previously highlighted with the Jouer. It just sets in the highlight and then we'll be going on in the same palette and using Amaretto for blush, using the 
M553 brush and then I'll blend it out using the Morphe M442 brush. Then I will be using the Victoria's Secret Pro Prime and Definer to prime my lips before I move on to lining. Then I'll be using the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in Red Diva or 024 to line my lips. Um, I will just go ahead and even them out. I don't plan on overlining today. Um, and the lines I just do out of habit from overlining my lips. Then I'll be going in with the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Standout. It is also 256 is the number color for it. And I'll just go ahead and fill in everything I just outlined. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.